Hello, gamer family. So you have chosen the Blue Lions led by Dimitri, correct? We're choosing Chef Boyardee. Your heart has made its choice then. All I ask is that you guide these open minds with virtue, care, and sincerity. They are all promising youths who bear the weight of Fodlin's future upon their shoulders. I hope you appreciate what an honor it is to lead them. Brother? Oh, I am so sincerely sorry. I did not mean to interrupt. Shut up, Flame. I'm in the middle of something, Flame. <laughs> is it urgent? No, no, it's nothing. More importantly, who is this? This is our newest professor at the Academy. Oh my! A new addition to the Officer's Academy! I am so very pleased to meet you, Professor. I am Sedith's little sister, Flame. I am so happy to make your acquaintance. Let us focus on the topic at hand. There is something you should be aware of. In a few days' time, there will be a mock battle between the three houses, intended to gauge the current progress of the students. We will be using this battle as an opportunity to ascertain your own abilities as well. Please do not disappoint the Archbishop. That is all. Yeah, this is exactly like Harry Potter. Wait, does this mean our new professor is... No, I really can't believe it. But I was speaking to you so casually, as though we were companions. Oh, I am so sorry, Professor. You just look the same age as the rest of us, and... Oh, and, and I'm sorry I just said that to you. I really must watch my tongue. You say that, but... I just don't know about all of this. I'll admit, it doesn't sit well with me either. After all, we wish to show you due respect. Sure, but... If the Professor says it's okay, shouldn't that be enough? That is... If your highness can consent to such a thing. After all, we're already speaking this way to our future king, so we may as well relax our speech with our professor too, right? Well, we're not in the kingdom, so it only goes to follow that we should all speak companionably. <sighs> I concede. If the professor says it's fine, we ought to accept that kindness gratefully. As for me, I'm not sure I can manage. You don't have to force yourself if it's too difficult. You're fine with that too, right, Professor? Come to the training ground later. There, you will show me what you're capable of. You aren't wasting any time, are you, Felix? As it were, count me in for any such battle. <laughs> Pardon me, but I would also love to observe you in battle for future reference, if that's okay with you. Ash, I won't have you speak of merely watching. You should join us as well. <laughs> if you get injured, simply say the word and I'll patch you up straight away. Your Highness, do take care not to go overboard. You worry too much to do. I'll be fine, I promise. My companions, is there not something inherently wrong with crossing blades as a way to bond with each other? Huh, I never thought of it that way. Well, if that's how you feel, I suppose you'll just stay behind while the rest of us are at the training ground? Ingrid, my dearest friend! You really are too harsh on me. Well then, Professor, what do you think? As you can see, the Blue Lion House is a lively bunch. But you'll find none who work harder. I'm certain we'll cause our fair share of trouble, but I'm very much looking forward to the year ahead. Yeah, there's a lot of loading screens and they're kind of long. <laughs> oh yeah, are you ready for more story? While you're here, I'd like to use this device I designed to determine whether the power of a crest resides within you. Won't hurt a bit, promise. You don't know about crests? Well, allow me to tell you everything absolutely everything about them 
Is your calendar clear? This will take a while. Crests are a fascinating topic, but before one can dive deeply into said topic, one must first understand what crests are. They are power incarnate. They are said to have been bestowed upon humans by the goddess countless ages ago. They exist within the flesh and are passed down through bloodlines. Those who carry crests may excel at magic, display exceptional strength, or any number of boons. Each crest has its own power, the nature of which is beyond mortal understanding. For now. I suspect as much, yes. But we won't know for sure unless I look into the matter. As I said, crests are passed down through the blood. However, just because someone carries a crest does not necessarily mean their descendants will inherit it as well. Only a scarce few descendants of a crest's bloodline end up inheriting that crest's power. Perhaps one of your ancestors bore a crest and you just happen to inherit it. That is how a crest usually presents itself, after all. See, it's hard to see the options because the camera's right in the way of the screen. Now then, please go ahead and hold out your arm over this device here. What is this? A pattern I've never seen before. Is it possible an as yet undiscovered crest has been detected? To think, there are still crests out there that even I am unaware of. It's the fire of. emblem. How thrilling! <clears throat> that's, that's not a joke. My unrestrained jubilation. Well, this crest is the I fire have emblem. Much to consider. You may leave now. I have more research to do in regard to this crest. Yes, so very much more research. But for now, your work here is done. Hmm, what could this line here be indicating? Perhaps it represents a lack of symmetry. Or perhaps... What in the world? Oh, I see. It may be connected to that, but to a greater degree than usual. With each moon, professors of the Officer's Academy receive a schedule for the month ahead. It notes the days on which events and missions will take place that month. Pay careful attention to your schedule, so that you may thoughtfully plan what you intend to do each month, and when. Woohoo! Calendar! Yeah, let's go to the monastery! <laughs> Let's get the DLC supplies, just because I might as well. Boom. And, yeah! Renown! That's gonna be handy. Especially since I'm not gonna be doing auxiliary battles, that Renown's gonna be really helpful. Yeah. Woohoo! No new game plus, so I don't really have a lot that I can use my renown on. It's gonna be really weird. Anyways, essentially you can use the mini map, which you open with R. That's right. Different controls and engage, and yeah, you get you do you do quests. Yeah. I hear there will be a mock battle soon. We must not neglect our training. I trust that you will carefully study the strengths and weaknesses of each of your students. That you may provide effective guidance. Oh yeah, I will. Of the results, this battle will be a great learning experience. Uh huh. Even so, what is the point of competition if the aim isn't to win? As this is your first time at the monastery, please allow me to show you the ropes. Okay, Chef Wardy, I'm not gonna look at any of that because I don't need it. His like, has he really is Chef Wardy because his hair looks like spaghetti. But Chef Boyardee is more known sure for ravioli. I didn't ask. I have a request. <laughs> oh. 
Let me guess, I can't... Oh, I can't enter the Amiibo Gardens? Um, I'm not gonna do it this video, because I don't have any of my Amiibos. Oh, wait. Scratch that. I do have my Amiibos, actually. Okay, so I actually technically don't have Amiibos, I have Amiibo cards. I have every single Fire Emblem one. I already have the music track, so this is just going to give me items. Um, yeah. What? That's not true. I didn't see items. What? What do you mean? Can you only get them in like one playthrough? So that's so totally lame. Oh my goodness. Wah, wah, that, was, wah, wah. that was such a three houses moment. Okay. I am allowed YouTube. This is my channel. I'm allowed one three houses diss a video. And I will be using every single one. <laughs> Uh, is this the least- you may be asking YouTube, is this your least favorite Fire Emblem game that you've ever played on the channel? No, no it isn't. No, it is not my least favorite Fire Emblem game I've ever played on the channel. I've played Fire Emblems 1 and 3 on the channel. Oof. And, I don't know, like... I've played this game so much, which is one of the reasons why I've become so against it. Hey there. But in theory, I technically like it more than Fire Emblem Professor, 8 as well. If you got spare time, wanna join me and Awakening. I actually do like it more than Awakening as well. Beautiful girls. Or not. I'm kidding. Don't look at me like that. Professor, I've got a small favor to ask. Yeah, I'll take no. your quest. <sighs> but yeah, no, I've, pl I've played this game so much. I used to, like, keep a track, essentially, in my mind of how much I've played every Fire Emblem game. I cannot for the life of me remember. All I know is I've technically beaten, before this playthrough, I've beaten Genealogy of the Holy War one more time than this game. But with this Let's Play, this will become a most beaten Fire Emblem game, and you know what? I don't really care because this game, first of all, it's for a YouTube channel. Second of all, this game does have better quality of life than Genealogy. If Genealogy have modern, day, modern quality of life... Like, if it played, like, it had, like, modern quality of life stuff, that would easily be my most played game of all time. I'd my probably best. have, like, 700 hours or something into that. I have way too much hours in this game. Like, let's quickly take a little look-see. So, first of all, I'm recording this in, uh, uh, June, still, for the record. Uh, 240, that's a lot. I don't know why it says first play seven days ago, because I have, like, 30 hours in the game. Yeah, I've already almost caught up and Fire Emblem engaged to three houses, and as of the recording of this video, Engage has only been out for around five months, and I've already almost caught up. That 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 tells you all you need to know about which game I like better. What? Why is there? What's? Okay, I don't know what's happening with that. You're really liking that golf clap right now. Uh, so Flame that has the other quest is she gonna have me like fish or some crap? Oh god. Um, so let me just quickly look. Who am I actually recruiting this playthrough? Okay, the only the only I only need two recruitments that actually require effort. Which are Caspar and Shamir. I actually don't know if Shamir requires effort. Um, let's Why isn't everyone available? Not everyone's available, but okay. Uh, well, I'm doing the cooking stuff. I'm going to quickly close the door. Uh, let's get supports up with... Uh, of course, Caspar's not here, and neither is Shamir. Beautiful. Um, 
I'm not actually gonna. I'll use. I'll actually do my blue lions then. I gotta go quickly close the door. I'll do that. I'll be right back. I'm gonna go use the restroom real fast. Oh, but not as good as your homemade sweets, Mercy. <laughs> You're too kind. Maybe I'll bake some for you next time, Professor. Seth, my body hurt so much from yesterday. Oh my goodness. Ugh, I'm in pain. Nice. I knew I could count on you. Obviously, the higher professor level you have, like the more activity points you have and all that, so like the more stuff you can actually like do. Hello there, Professor. You're what? Huh? Well, I call you that. Your what hurts? Everything, Seth. Like mean, everything hurts. I'm in pain. From yesterday? Yeah. I would love to become a student and begin my studies in earnest. The monastery is kind enough to provide a sanctuary for my brother and I. He's the only family I have. Might you help me with a favor? Of course you're the one who wants me to fish flane. Want me to fish and waste my time. I don't go to Marianne, I go to you. No, I wouldn't like to fish, but I have a quest to fish, so I'm going to fish. There. Boom. That's it. That's all I needed to do. Well, now I get a report back to Flame, then I essentially get to play the game and do something that isn't the monastery. See, the Somniel and Engage isn't the greatest thing in the world, but at least it feels less required to play the game than the monastery does here, as the majority of the game, especially on New Game Plus, is the monastery. I don't care about Ferdinand's birthday. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. It's finally time for the mock battle. I'm eager to put my skills to use. And you, Professor? I hope we can win. I wouldn't worry too much about it. If you command us as you did back in the village, I have no doubt we'll be fine. Our opponents are mighty. That much is certain. But I'm positive we can win. Hey there. Thumbnail image, we can this win! Fight to this strategy meeting? No, no worries. We'll just... Alright, I'm back. Nice try, Claude. But I do not intend to let slip our strategies, especially when we are I didn't know you'd left. Opponents as you two. Well now. Yeah, I was just using the bathroom real fast. If that's the case, we'd better come up with some clever schemes so as not to disappoint. Right, princess? Right. No matter the tactics you devise, we will destroy you. The best you can hope for is to learn a thing or two. <laughs> There's Dang. nothing wrong with a friendly rivalry, but let's not get carried away. A rash attitude could be your undoing, after all. Hmm. They even have the same colors as Harry Potter characters. Hey now, if you two were getting this fired up yep, uh, Claude is stars, definitely the Hufflepuff. Much easier for my class to sweep up Although I wouldn't Dimitri. call Dimitri the uh, Raven Claude. Call, I'd consider him more of a Gryffindor than I consider Edelgard more of a Raven Claude. Yeah, I don't know. And the main character Honestly, even has green hair. Both kind Dimitri of, like and Edelgard could fit into Slytherin. I think Dimitri could fit into <laughs> Slytherin and Gryffindor. Edelgard into Slytherin and, and uh, Ravenclaw. Which one would you fit Gonzalez into? Gryffindor. <laughs> Gonzalez is a Gryffindor, Seth! He's the what about Roy? Oh, 
Most Fire Emblem great. Lords, I'd probably say go to Gryffindor. Almost every single one. Not all of them, but what most of them I would. But no, we gotta scratch that. We gotta start I'm talking about what Fire Emblem characters we'd put in which three houses house. I'd say most Lords would go into Blue Lions. One of the reasons why we're doing Azure Moon first is it's the most... Basic Fire Emblem story, I'd argue. I look forward to assessing your abilities. I hope you don't disappoint. And I'd argue Dimitri is the most generic lord of these three, although... I gotta put Aircross for generic, cause, uh... Yeah, y you'll see why. You'll see why. <laughs> Don't care about that. Woo! We don't even get to use all of our units yet. Uh, the most important ones, I'm gonna take some Sedis for healing. Felix, cause sword. And then Sylvain, cause he's. What? What? Oh, get out of here, Ash. Ash? More like ass. <laughs> My poor dog to the left of me. <laughs> I think she's just like staring out into the backyard though. How do I use the convoy? Ash. I... Ash, come here. My back hurts. <laughs> oh. Man. I'll keep the bow on him for now. For saying it, just get rid of the bow. I don't want her to have any weapons. Uh, Felix, you're fine. Uh, Sylvain, let's get you an axe. And no one else matters right now. See, I don't, for the most part, I love the men, I think the menu in this game is really effective, but I do not like the circle. I, I don't like how it's a circle. I think it looks nice, but I don't like the using it. I find it annoying to use. Anyways. Let's do this, sucker. It is about time for the battle to begin. Our victory depends on your leadership. You do not let us down. Oh yeah, Dimitri, I won't. But the house that defeats the other two is declared the winner. Incidentally, I'll be overseeing this mock battle. So listen well if you want to win. Okay. There we go. So Imagining the initial onslaughts honestly really annoying. Uh, how do I zoom in and out? That's how. That's right. Let's do something like that. Mercedes is the one with the highest resistance. She's the one that'll be least likely to be ye yeeted. Uh, there's no weapon triangle in this game. So, uh, yeah. I'll cut through. Let's get you, yeah, let's get you off the, um, bow so that you can actually counterattack if you get attacked. Yeah, there we go. And we're going to go after the, the golden deer first. Hmm. But I'm not ready. Are you making light of our new professor? If you drop your guard, you're gonna get hurt. Dorothea, will you head toward the front lines? I wish to draw the enemy toward us. You got it, Aidy. Leave it to me. Ferdinand, Hubert, if the enemy comes, stop them. Leave it to us. Although I could do this on my own. <laughs> Clearly not. Or Her Highness would not ask me to watch your back. I did more damage than I thought she would. Uh, as you see, we weapon levels actually have plus variants in this game, which is another thing I find really annoying. Uh, just how weapon levels work in this game. I just don't like it. Uh, this game in general is just really, really different than pretty much any Fire Emblem that came before it. Uh, I think there's good things about it being different, and then there's bad things. Good thing, a lot of the changes it made actually made it appeal to more people, but the bad part about that is 
there's a lot of people who like three houses and what's so unique about three houses and then they're like oh when they play another fire emblem game they're like oh this isn't what i was hoping for which stinks uh, and engage really is getting hit by that hard especially the story because fire emblem games i'm going to be honest aren't known for a good story now they're not typically known for bad stories either besides like fates and some would even say engage i think engages is not horrible i think it's borderline but I don't think it's horrible. Well done, Teach. Uh, I may have to take this seriously after all. Three houses is ambitious as hell. Um, when we get to moments I have story issues, when I when we get to moments I have issues with story wise, I'll talk about them. But again, uh, I want to say it clear right now: this game has a better story than Engage. I am going to complain about this game's story. I am going to call it issues, but it does have one of the better Fire Emblem stories in the franchise, and I'm going to say that right now. That's still one of the better ones, even though I have a lot of issues with it. <laughs> new professor is quite a commander. Bruh, there's barely been any commandering being done. You can shut up, at Ignatz. Um, you know what? I'm actually gonna. Mm. Yeah, no, I'm gonna go after Golden Deer first. I was just trying to decide who I want to assault first. Uh, but I'm gonna assault uh, them on the the left first. I see, like, I, I think the combat animations in this game are Let's awful. The but the actual maps themselves don't look terrible for the most part. I don't necessarily like... If they're waiting in the forest, we do well to take a detour. I don't necessarily like how that part looks very much. But for the most part, like, the maps look fine. The other thing you can do, look at that. I'm gonna zoom out because I don't know if he's in enemy range or not when I do that. Okay. Yeah, it's kind of cool. But and the reason you may be like, well, that's really cool. How does that happen? Well, this game was made using the Warriors engine. This wasn't made with a Fire Emblem engine. Koi Tecmo is the one who developed this game, not Intelligent Systems, who typically does Fire Emblem. And uh, yeah, they didn't use a, an engine designed for this game. They used the engine that they made for Fire Emblem Warriors. Which is one of the reasons, in my opinion, that this game is a little, uh, ugly. Uh, unit, people cannot actually die in this map, by the way, as well. So, yeah. Oh, is Claude not going to try and attack me? And I'll do that. I would like to draw Claude and Hilda out so I could yeet them. Yeet their faces off. But yeet them. Oof. Yeet attack. Dictable. Dictable. Okay. Yeah. yeah, let's do that. Uh, probably a combat arts when I'm... Okay, fine. Felix isn't going to do what I wanted him to. But put my left in the forest and then probably a combat attack is probably what I'm looking for. Yeah, see, even with a combat attack, the hit's pretty low. Uh, then I'll probably do the same thing with Dimitri. Where I'm going to have him use a combat art. Yeah, increases his hit rate. Substan pretty substantially. As well as increases the damage. By almost doubling it. And there we go. Yes, it was, Hilda. Uh, now I can just heal Dimitri. And get ready to take assault from Claude Von Regan. All the characters in this name actually have full names instead of like first names. What is Gonzalez's last name? I don't know. Gonzalez, Gonzalez, Gonzalez. That's all I know him as. But then we got Sylvain, Gautier, Claude Von Regan. Roy, Roy, Roy. Yeah, we don't even have a last name. Probably like Roy Foray or something like that. I I, I don't know. Dick, Dick, Dick. Dick, Dick. Dick, dick, dick. That, that, that's what it is. Um, anyways, as you notice, the map theme just changed. This is one of three Fire Emblem games that has mid-map themes, or battle map themes. And, see, I actually like a lot of the mid-map themes in, uh, in uh, Engage. The problem is, just, I don't like them in this game. I think most of them suck. Like, the, the battle theme, the map theme that's playing right now, I don't like. 
at all. Jeez, not so much as a smile. It does best ratio where like my favorite map theme is interrupted on two separate maps by inferior themes like one currently playing now, but still annoying. I hate that. Come on, fess up, you'll feel better. Claude, please. This is no time for idle banter. Your defenses are wide open. Yeah, his defense is wide open attack. What a shame. I'll find a better way to ruffle him up next time. So ruffle chips? If you want to ruffle them up, I'll just buy them a bag of ruffles. I must... This is where you're I'm supposed to laugh. You're not <laughs> laughing. insane YouTube <laughs> in case you were wondering oh my gosh you are loony you're going loony tunes oh yeah I'll have Felix kill Felix can actually double on like all my other units he's the sword guy he's the speedy sword boy my goodness the leadership of someone with actual battle experience is well I was as good as useless yeah, that has nothing to do with Byleth actually having battle experience. That has more to do with you just being useless. You didn't compliment me like that when my class won last year. Nobody cares about you, Manuela. That's why no one complimented you. See, this game's often pra praised to have some of the best characters in the franchise. For me, the characters are very hit or miss. Especially on a surface level. Now, I find supports, especially in this game, so long and boring that I just... The supports don't help me like characters just because they're just so long I never pay attention. I can't I just can't pay attention for them for long. So the cast of this game tends to be pretty hit or miss for me personally. Now obviously that's a me problem, like. I'm sure if I got into Lorenz's supports, I, like I would start feels. loving him. Or Bernadetta's supports past the C rank, I'd probably start loving her more as well. But I just can't. Beers. It's so boring! Wah, 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 wah. It just a soundboard. I know. Oh, wow, they're attacking us now. That's wild gamer, wild gamer, gamer, wild, wild gamer, 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 wild, wild, wild gamer, gamer, wild, wild, wild gamer, 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 pause, gamer, wild, gamer, gamer, gamer is wild, gamer is wild, pog is wild, gamer is pog, pog is gamer, wild, pog, pog is wild. Yes, Lunacy only took two episodes, YouTube. We've been over this. Lunacy has officially <laughs> begun. Already. It's okay, though. There wasn't much to lose to begin with. On the mental <laughs> front. I was already mostly gone to begin with. I'm just completing the transition of being gone. I'm just more gone than I used to be. I'll go. Damn, really? You don't kill? You don't double for Nand? Franz Ferdinand? Who's Franz Ferdinand? Oh! Oh! Yeah, that's right. Oh, I couldn't remember who... My brain was really failing. I was like, Franz Ferdinand's a famous name. Who is he? Oh yeah, he's a dictator. He's the Spanish dictator from World War II. So let's not call Fernand Franz Ferdinand. Whatever his, whatever his name is! Let's not do it! God. I am losing my marbles! I dropped some of the marbles under the table, and I can't pick them up fast enough, and they're starting to roll away even more now. <coughs> I'm losing it. I'm, I'm, I'm going cray-cray. 
So be it. Wild, wild, whoa. That was wild cray cray. It's almost cray cray as your mom. Gotti. Haha, <laughs> got him. Got him these nuts. <laughs> got him all nuts. <laughs> got him walnuts. <laughs> Funniest man alive. I'm I'm comedic. I'm comedic, bro, bro. I'm bro, bro, comedic, bro, comedic, bro, 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 comedic, comedic, bro, 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 comedic, 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 promotic, bro, bro. Careful. Yeah. It almost sounded like someone spamming a soundboard. I'm like word salading at this point. <laughs> I really am going banane brain. I'm going full, like, caveman mode. Oh, yo, he already has combat arts on both? That's pretty epic gamer. That's awfully poggers of him. Um, yeah, no point in using the iron bow. I'll, like, never use iron bow again once he can use javelins. I want Sylvain to get the kill so I can get him to level 3. Um, yeah. Let me guess. Yeah, you're gonna need the combat art, huh? That has 100% so I'll do it. Win! I win! Well I nearly wound up a patient in my own infirmary. Take that L! 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 Take that Oops. L! Oh well. L. L person. All right, that's that. The winner of this mock battle is the Blue Lion. Why are you one one one? You did well. So, anyways. Seth, what house would you have chosen in this game? Would you have agreed? Would you have chosen Blue Lions like I did? Or would you have chosen one of the other two? Probably Blue Lions, because that kind of seems more like the Gryffindor house in this case. I would argue it is the Gryffindor house. Golden Deer is kind of a mix of Ravenclaw and Slytherin, I'd argue. Uh, more so Ravenclaw, I'd say, than Slytherin. And then... um. Black Eagles is like a combination is a, say, also Slytherin and Ravenclaw with probably a little bit more. I put a little bit more Slytherin. <laughs> oh no 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 no! I'm wrong. No, um, Golden Deer is Hufflepuff. They're the Hufflepuff house. Professor, I've been looking for you. The Claws is Slytherin. I was hoping we could all share a meal together. It could serve as both the victory celebration and a post-battle analysis. What do you think? I'm invited? Of course. Why wouldn't you be? Come now, Professor. We can't very well celebrate without the key to our victory present. He's right. He really is. We were only able to win because we had your help, Professor. Yes. Compared with that boar who knows nothing save frontal attacks, your tactics were nearly decent. Felix! You really ought to stop picking fights with His Highness. Don't worry, Ingrid. I encourage all to speak freely. And I must agree that the Professor's tactics were truly extraordinary. I have much to learn. Oh, sure. But today was exhausting. I'm so hungry I can barely stand. To be honest, so am I. Let's head to the dining hall. Together. Professor, I'm sorry to intrude, but... You don't look too happy for someone who just won. They're literally not even, like, their facial expression has not even changed. Yeah, that's a part of my love's quote-unquote character. I know we only <laughs> just met, so this may be difficult. Quote-unquote character. I'd love nothing more than to share our happiness with you. 
joy can be so fleeting. Character. All. We're all in this together. So I hope you will consent. I'm sure the rest of the class feels the very same. Well, come along, Professor. Let's enjoy the fruits of our labor. Your work with the students was remarkable. I can see Geralt trained you well. I do hope you were able to use the occasion to bond with the students. I'm so happy to hear it. Nothing would please me more than if you used this coming year to grow closer still. Of course, the mock battle was mere practice. The real coming year? the battle of the eagle and lion, which will take place during the wyvern moon. <laughs> As for today, I have called you here to tell you of your mission for the month ahead. Your class is to dispose Epic. of some bandits causing trouble nearby. Trouble? Those affiliated with Garrig Mach Monastery have a moral obligation to help those in need, regardless of social standing. Students are no exception. Each month before the newly birthed moon departs, each house of students must complete their assigned mission. You shall work to complete the task at hand alongside your students and report back to the Archbishop before the deadline. Understood? I will soon provide you with the necessary no. details for your first mission. If I told you now, I expect you would only forget, and I despise repeating myself. I can see something special within your heart. I have high hopes for you. Well, you sense special, Rhea, as the fire Bandits, emblem. They say. <laughs> Do you recall when we first met? You shall not fall so shamelessly again, correct? Have you no words for me? Do not tell me that you are shocked to hear from me! <laughs> you ought to know that I am always with you now. To hear my voice should not come as a shock. What is this nonsense? All I was told was to kill as many noble pipsqueaks as possible! No one said anything about the Knights of Damned Saros being on our trail! You have proven yourself worthless, distracted by something so trivial. I had hoped you would achieve your goal despite the setback. But now a child of the Knight's former captain is in play. How interesting. Hey, this isn't what I agreed to! Hiring a mercenary as a professor. What was that woman thinking? Are you listening to me? How do we finish this? You die. What? Underestimating the knights was an amateur mistake. One you will pay for. The road to eternal torment awaits you all. Now I must locate your replacements. Wait! Get back here! Damn you! I wonder who the Flame Emperor is. Is this some kind of twisted joke? Kill every last one of them. Ha ha ha. Ha ha ha. Part one. <laughs> Who are you? You look just like Buddy Holly.
Uh oh, and then Mary Tyler Moore. Uh, da 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 da. Anyways, I don't care about that. There are new places to explore in the monastery. Oh my god, I'm so happy. <laughs> As you have already been notified, your mission is to subdue some bandits. Our students have been learning about combat through study, but this is a precious opportunity to provide them with practical experience. The knights will support your mission and are prepared to offer their assistance if necessary. In short, this is no mock battle. You must be prepared for anything. You will receive a message from the knights when it is time to depart. Until then, use your time wisely. This will be our first true battle. I'm looking forward to fighting alongside you, Professor. During the mock battle, your commands were thoughtful and thorough, as was your strategy. With you on our side, I'm confident we will prevail. It seems we have some time to spare before our departure. Let's use this opportunity to prepare as best we can. So, You're typically... Oh. Are you adjusting to life at the monastery? Oh, I didn't expect that answer. When we were mercenaries, I handled everything. Outside of battle, you didn't have much contact with people, did you? I thought being thrown into a swarm of noble brats to teach would be a bit much for you. But they I are brats. I had nothing to worry about. <laughs> By the way, I heard about those bandits. Your first assignment is to take them out, right? That's fairly routine for you by now. But don't forget it's the first real taste of battle for those brats. It'll be tougher to sleep at night if you let one of your little pupils die. So stay vigilant and lead them well. I wish I could offer you my support, but Lady Rhea won't allow it. For now, I'll try to figure out what she wants from you. I don't mind you settling into your life here, but don't let your guard down, ever. I won't. So I'm probably going to mostly do almost all of the monastery stuff off camera uh, in this series. Um, I'm probably not going to be doing a ton of... A, a, I'll, I'll do a couple of the earlier ones, though. Um, just, just to show they're like. Um, I probably am not going to be doing a ton of auxiliary battles. Because I just don't want to. Um, I probably won't be doing a ton of these things. Uh, just because they're boring. I'll probably be spending most of my off time doing seminars. Because this is hard mode. Like, I'm not going to get... Being under level doesn't really matter. If it starts becoming a problem where the game starts somehow feeling too hard. Then I'll start doing the auxiliary battles. But I don't foresee that happening. It's just as a slog. And either way, I'm not doing them on camera. Uh, so most likely... How this most of the series is gonna go is we're gonna get to this screen and then the video is gonna typically end. Then no, sorry. Then typically I'm gonna hit this and then I'm gonna go to support and then we'll do support and then we'll end the video. That's typically how it's gonna okay. go. Um, that being said, we're only at 50 minutes. I'm actually gonna get to. I want to get to the auxiliary battle that you're forced to do first. So we're gonna keep playing. This will be a little bit of a longer video, but that's typically what I plan on doing YouTube with at least and typically all the like monastery exploring stuff will typically be done on the final Saturday of a month. That's typically when I'm going to do it and I'm going to do that on all the quests and stuff on camera. There are some quests that require you to go on the battlefield and I'll just do those again off camera on the next month. Um, but like all these quests and stuff that you see right now, like I'll typically be doing this on the final Saturday of a month. Is it really for the most, with a few exceptions, like when we get to month 12, I can't remember what moon it is, the December equivalent of this game, I will be doing, I will be changing that order around a, a wee bit. But for the most part, that is how this is going to work. Um... I'm assuming I can't do the teach the thing yet. Oh, I'm just heading out for a mission. I don't. Yeah, I can't yet. But yeah, that's 
for the most part how this series is going to work. At least I think it is. Obviously, I'm just now recording it. I may be wrong. I may change my mind. Here's the marketplace. Okay. I don't think we can buy anything yet. Oh, can. Um, yeah. Pretty simple. Again, that's how I plan on doing everything. I need your help. I didn't mean to decline. This was added in the DLC. You used to not be able to feed the animals. Oh, uh, but yeah. That, that's my plan for the monastery because I don't think the monastery is interesting to watch because it certainly isn't interesting to play. Um, obviously, everything I'll always do is every time I come here, you got to go to the greenhouse. Um, the real question is how much of the time will I be doing seminars versus just exploring and like, because eventually I'll be able to start doing faculty training, which is nice. My question is, does fishing ex raise the uh, professor level? Because if it does, I may try to grind up the professor level a bit, and I cannot believe I'm saying that, but I might actually try to. <laughs> um, oh, let me cultivate. Just because it's handy, you know, to actually, like, be able to do things. Um, I don't really talk to people in the Somni all that this isn't the song of the monastery all that much. I'll probably, when I'm trying to get supports up, I'll probably, like, just gift people things. Does this increase professor level? Because if it does, I'm probably just going to do it off camera. Next video. After next video. Let's find out. Oh, crap, it does. That upsets me so much. That upsets me. Would you kindly do something for me? I don't want to do anything for you. Oh. I thought I had to do the cooking thing now. Never mind. I was wrong. Uh, today's special. Um, what are the units that, from outside this house that I'm going to recruit? It is Casper. Is Casper the only one I need to worry about? Casper the friendly ghost? Shut up. <laughs> Casper, and am I able to do church members yet? Not Shamir, no. So I'll do the daily special. You, typically, you want to keep all those happy because that allows you to do more teaching. So I'll do to do an Ash. One for them. I like this. Looks cool. And then I'll do one for. Uh... Do you need? Yeah, Felix needs it. Although, I'm not too worried about getting him trained on stuff. I'd rather... Same with Dimitri. I'd rather get one with Ingrid and Casper. If there is one. There isn't. So, I'll just do one that focuses Ingrid. No, you're not Ingrid. Ingrid and then Caspar doesn't hate. Where is he? Where is the blue-headed twerp? Oh, come on, Caspar. You dingus. I swear, if you dislike this one, too, I'm going to torture you. Okay, where is... Oh, there's the blue hair twerp. He likes this one. I appreciate... uh, I can eat there's two ways to recruit units. You can give, like, by left the skills that you want. Or, like, you could also just support. Use supports to get them up. Well, Seth clearly knows what the Fire Emblem theme sounds like. Says he's humming it every time he hears the little bell in the monastery. <laughs> That's a it's not normal. By the time you're forgetting your own age, you're past the I keep forgetting these lines are actually voice acted because they're not in uh engage. Yeah, 
Yay, I'm able to just travel to the second floor. That makes my life easier. Yay. Yay. I hate when quests you actually have to return to the quest giver as well, which I think I have to do for all the quests I have, instead of it auto-completing, which is just like, uh, nice Oh, that one is an auto-complete. That's nice. And then I just gotta go to the library. No, this way. This way's the library. I remember too much of this game, YouTube, for the record. Uh, and at least early on, off-camera, I'll probably do a decent amount of exploring here, just again, to get the professor level up. Because I want that thing to be... doesn't need to be super high, but it would be nice to have it higher than it is now. Because you don't know how painful it is not doing a New Game Plus playthrough. For at least one. Yeah, now, see, now I have to return to the chef. It's awful. Awful. Hate that. Bad design. Bad design! I hate how I have to return. Yeah, I did find stuff. Now shut up. I don't care. You shut up. Shut your mouth. Shut up. <laughs> Although... Actually, I'm a thinking. I'm a thinking. We're actually gonna end with monastery. That's what I'm gonna do. I, instead of doing the final week is the day is the week that I show on camera. I actually gonna do the first one. So we're gonna end videos with the the monastery, and then go into supports to end every video. Uh, that's how I'm gonna do it. Uh, so like this, and we'll always start right off the bat with the chapter. That's what we're going to do. Yeah. I think it'll be a weird way to do it, but it'll be good. Plus, there's so many times where you're forced to explore for the first one. Oh my goodness, I actually know where I need to go about that. Ugh. I'm assuming, yeah, I can't do the renowned statues yet. Inside the cathedral, there is a saint in deck. Saint Macuel, Saint Keyhole. Saint Sathleen, who is your favorite professor? Now that you are a member of the church, be sure to familiarize yourself with our teachings and traditions. I have something to ask of you. Really bossy. Yeah, he is. At least you're recognizing it. Eh, the greenhouse is the easiest way to get the singing roster. Yeah, I've played this game so much, I knew exactly where a singing roster was. It's right over here. Bye. I want to say that's Bernadetta's room. No, this one's Bernadetta's room. Um, uh, reception hall. Uh, no, I'll do the Officer's Academy part. Because maybe it'll put me by, uh, of course. It put me on the northern end, or... Yeah, I guess that's the northern end of it, instead of the southern end. Bridget, Elmira, Fesker, even people from far off lands gather here at the academy. Word of advice, Professor. There are those who don't think kindly of such people. Wow. I wonder if we have any in our house. They should change their minds. I believe a certain support chain does change one of their minds. It makes them less racist. <laughs> I'll let you guess who the racist blue Inside lion is. Eagle, there is a chapel dedicated to the four saints. Do you know of them? Saint Inde saints Yeah, now I've already had this conversation with you. Well done. You have That's my what thanks. I wanted to do. You dingus brain. And now we can end the day. And uh, I'm probably not often going to show all this stuff. Typically, I'm going to auto-teach. Uh, but I do want to set up units a certain way. If you don't um, know the proper procedure for lectures, I will tell you all My dog's the saying hi. To you, of Hello, Seth's dog. Hi, yes. Okay, so I'm going to first, by doing a group task, uh, I want to... I'm gonna have two calves. Oh wait, what the hell? Never mind. I'm actually gonna do. Yeah. That down arrows means 
the dude doesn't want to fly. That up arrows means Ingrid wants to fly. Well, too bad. Exactly, because I am putting what? the dude as a wyvern. Because I don't want an armor knight, and I'm already going to have a cavalier. Two of them, in fact. I want... Let's go... No, not in order there. I want to go to goals. Dimitri, I think that's okay for now. Eventually, I want him to get cavalier stuff, but those are more important for now because late game, he's going to be using his, ba his base... Uh, he's going to be using his personal class. Axe and not brawling. I'm not a fan of brawling. I'd much rather him do axe and then flying. Because I want him to be a wyvern. Felix... Again, I'm going to piss him off. I'm going to do authority for now. Eventually, I'll chain him to faith because eventually I want him to be a grimmery. But I want to at least get some authority on him so that he can use better gambits. Ash doesn't matter. I'm not using him long term. I'm using him until I beat his paralog. Once I beat his paralog, I'm getting rid of him. I'll actually do soul bow and authority, I guess. Since I'm not doing the riding uh, thing, I'm going to for now put him as lance. And riding. Eventually, I'll change it to axe and heavy armor. But that's not now. For now, uh, I want her as faith magic. And I'm actually going to do... I'm going to do riding. This may seem weird, but I'm going to do riding. I'll probably temporarily change it out for authority later on. But at least for now, that's what it's going to be. Reason and authority, that looks okay. I'm not using her long term either. Then Ingrid... Let's get those. I'm going to do flying so I can get her flying done really, really fast. So that I can start doing the cavalier is the training. Um, anyways, for the instructing, for the most part, I'm actually going to do uh, instructing of authority. Just so that people can use higher level gambits. Especially people like Felix that have really low authority by default. As well as Ingrid. Those are the two I'm going to do for now. Because once Ingrid becomes a flyer... She's not going to be able to use all the um, same uh, battalions that other units would. So she needs to have a highness level to be able to specifically use the flyer ones. Um, so I definitely want that. As you see, there we go. We're level. We got it leveled up. I'm getting the hang of this. We'll worry about skills and stuff later. Oh, I should still instruct one more person. I forgot. Let's do Sylvain, just because he has multiple things going on. So what are his goals are currently riding in Lance. So I'm gonna right now I'm gonna do a I'm gonna do authority. Wow. And then I'm actually gonna do the final one on heavy armor, just so I'm slowly starting to get that done. And then I'm gonna and then I can begin lecture, where it's just gonna auto do I stuff. There's gonna be questions. These questions help you get your professional level up uh so i see i see i gave a good answer which means my professor level goes up a lot that happens once a month those more in-depth questions not once a week sadly only once a month oh it's sundays not saturdays that everything is free i'm wrong and then now we'll see this obviously the dude said he is a little uneasy so like because he's not a good flyer like, he didn't get much level there. And, yeah. Sorry about the cut, YouTube. For a second, I was wondering if my screen was frozen. No. Anyways, this is what I wanted to do. I'll do the final exploring thing off camera, YouTube, because I hate myself and I'll play three houses on my own time. Let's quickly end, do this. Do, like, speed run this battle. And then, uh, yeah. Auxiliary battles. I don't really plan on using them a whole ton. We. Do you have experience commanding a battalion, Professor? I assume so, but if not, I'm happy to explain. Okay. First things, let's add some battalions on people. You already have one. Dimitri has one. And I saw the dude already had one. Do I have any more? No. And auto equip them. Of course. Um. I want to primarily focus on this map. 
on ah there on Unis I didn't get up didn't bring you to the other battle so Ash to do Annette and Ingrid yeah and obviously like wow that's another slot you can bring another unit yeah apparently you can um I'm not gonna change out any items because I'm pretty happy with how they look right now we're not gonna do any supports this video we'll start doing them next video yeah Uh, obviously it's using the basic music here. Wait. No freaking way. That's New Game Plus? Oh my god, you've got to be kidding me. Really? Okay, I didn't want to listen to Fodolin Lens, but I guess I'm going to have to. Ready. Uh, so I'll do I will put these up two up there for now again. I'm gonna focus on getting Ingrid stuff, but yeah. What should I do to do over here? Um, so as you know, magic like doesn't use proper durability. It just it's limited based on like map and it like comes back I believe based on uh, Multiple things so mostly faith level level and faith magic or authority magic for I mean, reason magic for uh, stuff like fire, thunder, all those stuff. So, in that stuff. So, essentially, magic users have limited uses per map. Uh, which, again, I don't, I don't like how magic is in this game. I don't like magic in this game. I don't, I don't like the magic system in this game. Um, oh, what? You actually kill? Unless I use a gambit, you kill. Not a gambit, uh, combat art. That's BS, bro. That's BS. Okay, anyways, let's get Ingrid to kill still. And everybody on that side is gonna need flipping healing because they all they're weak we they're weak go. little sausage babies. Hmm. That was a sentence. In case you didn't know that, YouTube, I said a sentence. Or I called my units weak little sausage babies. I hate that I did that. I hate that I did that, but I did. As you're seeing, I'm using a lot of gambits, especially... Not gambits. Combat hours, especially early on. Because these units can't freaking double, and they can't hit either. Or combat hours make it so that I do more damage, so that doubling's not as big of a deal. And uh, they increase hit rate, so I actually, I don't know, hit people. So, yeah, it's kind of important. Especially these early days. Um, obviously, as you see, I can use a gambit. I'm with you. I'll try to use it, but I'll probably miss. Oh, my head is a hit. But essentially, gambit's like, because the units can't move and does debuffs and at least combat gambits do. Uh, they're really annoying to fight against. Um, but they definitely can be really useful to use. And remember, YouTube, I have beaten this game on Maddening New Game, so I technically do know how to play this game. Technically, because it doesn't mean I have to be good at it. Because I'm not. But I do know how to play this game in theory. I want you to use the bow! No, I don't. Because you're going to miss. Oh, great. He has almost no more land durability. Because I'm using that a lot. Because he won't hit if I don't use that. So, yeah. I'm actually going to quickly give him Sylvain's lands to just have Sylvain focus on Axe for this map. And since I guess I am focusing on training his uh, lance in uh, the teaching portion, I'm probably going to have Sylvain mostly oh, use an axe so that he can get his axe level up now. It doesn't need to be nearly as high, uh, but it is going to be needed for the class line I want to give him. I didn't move by left, but that doesn't matter. By left literally has the character of a, of a soggy rag. No, that's too much of a compliment. By love has the personality of a brand new rag. So essentially there's nothing of note about the rag. It's literally just a rag. 
saying that. Byleth should just get good at having a character if Byleth doesn't want to be insulted. Um, yeah, let's uh, do that. There's a lot of enemies and they all want to kill me. And I don't like being killed. For obvious reasons. Well, it's bad. It's bad for living. Yeah. You can't be alive if you're dead. Just remember that, YouTube. You can't be alive if you're dead. That's inspirational. As far as I'm concerned. Morgan Freeman worthy. Indeed. Indeed. And I cannot believe that Net is like the first one of these useless people to get a level up. You're almost dead, Ingrid. It's almost because you suck early on. Ingrid actually can kind of become almost not terrible, but you wouldn't know that based on how she's doing right now. In fact, you'd probably think the opposite, that she's like the worst thing since sliced bread. Except sliced bread is actually pretty good, so that doesn't even work. Really? You do one more damage? God. These people are so bad. They're all so bad. Every one of these units, including by left, is bad. Ready. That's good enough. Don't get hit, please. Thank you. Hopefully Ash doesn't die, because that'd be kind of unfortunate. Because he has a paralog that gives me boots. That's the only reason I care about Ash. He has a paralog that gives me boots. There's no other reason to care about Ash. Maybe. Ah, oh, fudge. Can I rewind? Do they stay dead in this battle? I don't know. Okay, triangle attack. Let me ask you, do Eunice's die in this auxiliary battle stay dead? My guess is no. Um. Why isn't this map even on triangle attack? Because that's kind of annoying. find out after this map, I suppose, whether I need to redo this off camera. Because Ash is literal trash. Hey, that rhymes. Ash is trash. That's how you know it's true. Is it good stuff or true? You know it's a true statement because I'll it rhymes. Oh, come on. All these units are so pathetic. I hate three houses early game so much, you two. Like, come on. No one doubles, no one hits, and no one does damage. Thank you, Felix.
I saved it as a second save slot because I don't know if I still have Ash. Okay, let's instruct manually just because this will tell me if Ash is alive. He is. Oh, I actually probably should have actually instructed manually. Because it would have given me more control. Oh well. Anyways, YouTube, that's the end of this video. Uh, there's occasionally things like this. None of them are typically big deals. And birthdays. Uh, for birthdays of units I actually care about, I'll probably give them flowers just to increase supports. But that's probably the extent of what I'll do. Uh, then, like, all this, I'll still do it, even if it's off-camera. I don't... Because, like, it increases my teacher level, so... Yeah. Oh! Support. I'm gonna say no. Uh, so all these supports I can, like, just do in the support menu. So, like, if I'm not recording, I'll just say no to all the supports again, and, uh, yeah. That's the end of this video. I'll do this day off camera, YouTube, so that we can start right on mission day. Um, anyways, I'll see you next time, YouTube. Good. I've got it. So this Let's just see all done. this stuff. Goodbye, YouTube. I'll see you next time. Adios. Uh, goodbye. Oh. We'll just start next video with the seminar. Goodbye.